company other yeah reached out to me and we said would you do a review of our some of our products so they sent me these uh what do they call a uh, ratchet straps there there's four of them uh 1.6 inches by eight feet and soft loops 1.6 inches by 17 inches now there's a picture of a motorbike here and those soft loops looks like they looped them around the handles and they used the ratchets here let's take a look at some of the Warning, they say not to use uh, tension ratchet or hand, hand only, never use extension or cheater bars. Here's the working load limit, 1,736 pounds, maximum brake strength, 508 pounds. So this is a very heavy package here. We'll open it up and see what's inside of it. Include the link, it's available on Amazon, I think, $33 Canadian. So let's open this up here and see what's inside here, these straps, ratchet straps and these loops here. we get so we get four ratchets with the uh the set here and i noticed right away this is i like this here feature here the loops have a little clasp on it there and the loops of a it's like a plastic here so and even the the hook has plastic on it so you're not going to scratch anything on your on your vehicle or on your truck or on your trailer that's a nice feature not sure what these are. We'll check them out. So I get four of these. And you get four of these loops here. These are the loops that or the straps, actually, the straps. And they have the they have the little clamps on them too. That's going to be very interesting. Here are the loops that they talk about. The, the loops here. Just like a uh, like I'm uh a sling loop, like this is going to be very handy too. You also get, looks like a decal here. You've got user guide. One page user guide here. Shows you how to put the ribbon cable in through the strapping or the straps itself. Just some basic information on the straps. And there is a nice carrying case. Well, nice carrying. That's a big carrying case. So, yeah. That's a carrying case. Let's put all your stuff in here. That's a big case. So, yeah, that's going to come in handy. Oh, that case there to put all your straps in. Not sure these straps are. Probably just to... When you, your Velcro, I think, yeah. So just to hold your straps together, this is Velcro. Hold that apart, yeah, just to hold your straps on. So you get that too with it. What do you get with this ratcheting set from other, yeah? You get four of these ratchets with the clasp on it here, nice clasp. Even the tie down straps have the clasp on. Very handy feature, how your S hooks here. You get four of these loops, they're going to come in very handy. These uh, will clip around your, your strapping. You get a decal, you get some instructions, and a very nice carrying bag. What you get with this ratchet set, you get four of these ratchets, 1.6 inches wide by 8 inches. You have got the strapping here is 1.6 inches wide by 15 feet, and the loops are 1.6 inches wide by 17 inches. Let's look at the ratchet part of this. There's plastic holding, two pieces of plastic holding this on here. Take that off here. Now, the thing I really like about this, this is a, a clip here on your S-hook. It's plastic. This is plastic, so you're not going to scratch your truck or your trailer here. That's a nice feature here. And it has the... Uh, Information on the low capacities here attached to it here. So this is the ratchet part of it, and that's about eight inches long here. So this is what they call it in the lock position. See so you how know, that little plate is catching in these teeth here. And to release that, you have to pull up on this lever here to release it, to unlock it. So you pull up on it. 
open it wide open here. Now that's on the unlock position, fully open, so it's not engaging the teeth here. So here's the strap. It's 1.6 inches wide by 15 feet long. Here's the plastic coins together as well. I'm just going to unravel it here, get to the end of it. Now we're going to put that strap through that ratchet. So now we're going to thread that strap through the ratchet itself. So completely close your ratchet all the way close here. And now if you've got your cylinder, that's where you're going to put your strap through here and above here. So through here and above, not through here in the bottom, through here and above. Put the strap through the cylinder, and there you got it through now. That's the proper way to do it. Now take up any slack you're going to have, because you don't want this winding around this spool here. So it's just like a pulley. So just like the instructions say, it says to thread the end of the Luhong strap through the center opening of the ratchet spool and pull over the top of the spool. So in the center of it and over top of the spool here. Take all the slack as much as possible. You don't want this building up here. When you're strapping it, when you're finally strapping it, it's just to tighten it down. You don't have a lot of room on this spool here before it'll start to jam up and you'll never get it off. So make sure it's tight there and you're just ratcheting it up just to tighten it up here. See how it's building up here? You don't want that to build up so much, it'll stop on here. So take up all your slack, and this is just the final couple uh, pulls to make it nice and tight. So I think why they included these four loops, the soft loops, what they call the 1.6 inches by 17 inches, is for the handlebars of the motorcycle here. You see on the box here, they got the handlebars. And they got these loops around the handlebars. So I think that's why they included these loops with this particular package. It should come in very handy there. On your trailer, if you're tying down with the, the straps here, and sometimes it'll be short, these loops can come in handy there to make it that little extra uh, length that you may need. Uh, you can uh, tie uh, this stuff around tr uh, trees when you're pulling something out. So many uses for these loops are... These loops have other features you can use rather than just the ratcheting system. Here I've hooked it to a log here, just then use the loop there, hook it in, and then pull it up with your quad. Here's these loops come in handy. You just loop it through the trailer here and uh, use a double loop there and connect your ratchet to it. Nice thing about this uh, ratchet, it has the uh, little latch on it, so these are not going to come apart there when you loop them through there. I have to worry them are coming apart there. That's one way of doing it. Here's the other way. If you want to get a little bit more length there, see you don't have a bigger load here and you uh, need more length, you can just uh, loop through itself here and uh, just use one loop and then connect your ratchet to that. And again, it's got the latch on it. It's not going to be anywhere. This latch makes all the difference. You strap it on the top of the trailer or in the bottom, especially in the bottom of the trailer. That ass hook's not going to come apart when you use your strap and you throw your strap on the other side to connect to your ratchet. Install your strap through the center of the spindle here and then over top of the spindle and pull up any slack here you want. All the slack pulled up here. You don't want to get all that strap around the center of the spindle here and just tighten it up here. And when it's nice, nice and tight there, put it in the closed position. Now it's going to stay closed, not going to move. To release the strap, pull the catching all the way open there, pulling the handle all the way open there, disengage the teeth and you can take your strap out. Install the strap, have the, your ratchet completely closed. You don't have to have it completely closed, but it's easier to thread it through here, your strap through here. Take up any slack here. You want to make sure all the slack is taken up here. You don't want a bunch of uh, that strap around the spindle here. It'll bunch up and you'll never get it apart. So once you get it tight here, just take your ratchet there and start ratcheting it up nice and tight here. And then close it up there. Make it lock in the lock position. There you go. Remove the uh, strap. Put the lever all the way up here on the ratchet. 
and open it fully. That disengages the teeth on that spindle. And now you can take your strapping out here. And just close it back up in the closed position. Let's look at this at a different angle here. So you take your ratchet, you pull up on the handle here, and you open it wide open here so the teeth are not engaged on the spindle no more. And just simply uh, remove your strap here from the uh, spindle. And right here is where your pinch point. You don't want to put your fingers in there, you'll get them pinched there. So just pull up on the handle and release the strap. Put your ratchet back in the closed position here. This is my Yamaha, 1960s Yamaha 100 twin motorcycle. And you can see I've got the ratchets on here just to show you how you loop around the handles here. And you got the S hook, the clasp, and the ratchet in the closed position and hooked here. Even the Velcro around the Excess strapping here, same thing on this side, looped around the handle, that S-hook, this is so handy to have this, ratchet in the closed position, there's those Velcro things to hold the strapping together, let's take a look at the rest of the bike here, whole bike 1967, Yamaha twin, the twin is the twin cylinders here. Keys in the side here, and at the back I had this carry case, so I looped the loops here, and, the, and then the ratchet straps, the S hooks, and then the closed position, the velcro around the strap of this pallet here. And my old plate, 1971, is the last time I used it, and you got the ratchets coming down here to the pallet, and it held on to the pallet here. Just want to show you how to strap it down here. How handy those straps come in. This old, old bike. Nice carrying case. All the ratchets are in there. All the ratchet straps and all the loops are in here. Nice carrying case. There's lots of room in here for all your strapping here. And then you just close it up there. Done. Very nice case. I'd like to thank the company for sending me these ratchet straps here. So you get the, four of these ratchets, four of these uh, straps, four of these loops here, and four of these Velcro. So I think you just hold your loops in place here. And the nice thing about these straps is they got these little clasps on here, especially on this one here on your strapping. I don't know how many times I hooked it in on my trailer, throw it on the other side, and the hook comes out. You won't have a problem with these clasps here. It comes in a nice carrying case as well. And nice blue color. So please uh, take a second and subscribe to my channel. And ring that bell. It doesn't cost you a thing. And it really helps out my channel. So please share my video. I'd like to thank all my subscribers. Have a great day, people.